Hey guys, Jared with Better Holsters here. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about your concealed carry licensing, and more importantly, how long it takes to become licensed. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree. With technology, we're used to having endless amounts of information at our fingertips and instant approval for things like credit cards and loans. But not everything is that easy. Some things take time, things like getting a concealed carry permit. Unfortunately, there's no generic or definite answer to the question of how long it takes to get your concealed carry permit. Each state has an approximate time which they will review concealed carry license applications, and that time frame can be dependent on a few things. The volume of applicants they're receiving, if there are any issues with your application, are both factors that can affect how long it takes to receive your concealed carry permit. If you're looking for the approximate processing time for your state, visit your state's website for more information. Some states are required to review concealed carry permit applications within a certain time frame. For example, the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services states that approvals take approximately 50 to 55 days, but they're required to review applications within 90 days of their submission. What can I do to make the concealed carry approval process smoother? First, make sure your application is complete. Most states require you to fill out your application and questionnaire with your permit request before you submit your application. Make sure you're double checking all the questions to make sure each one is answered fully. Unanswered questions could mean your application gets sent back to you, thus extending your wait time. Second, most states require a background check to be completed with your application. This is oftentimes done by physical or electronic fingerprinting. Before submitting your application, make sure you're prepared to have the background check completed by having your fingerprints done. If you elect to do the physical fingerprinting, ensure they are legible. This will help the background check process run more smoothly. Last, you may be required to complete training or a test before receiving your concealed carry permit. This may be in a classroom, at the range, by a certified instructor, or a few other things. Make sure any training requirements are completed and you receive proper documentation proving completion can help make the application review process a lot easier. What can make me be denied for a concealed carry permit? Before submitting a concealed carry application, it may be beneficial to think about anything that may cause you to be ineligible for the permit. This can save you time waiting for your application to come back. For more specific information on what can deem you ineligible for a concealed carry permit, check your state's specific eligibility requirements. A good first check is to make sure you are the proper age to receive a concealed carry permit. In many U.S. states, this age is 21. Another reason you could be denied is if you have a history of drug or alcohol abuse or any kind of violence. What if I'm just renewing my concealed carry permit and not applying for the first time? Renewing a concealed carry permit does not take as long as the initial application. Each state will have different methods for the renewal process, and we suggest you check your state for more information about how to renew your license. For the state of Florida, renewals can be done in a local office, and you can just get your license the same day. Can I conceal carry in states other than my issuing one? Going on a road trip and want to bring your concealed carry weapon with you? Some states have reciprocity, allowing you to conceal carry with a permit from a different state. Each state has its own rules and regulations on which permits they will allow. For example, if you have a Florida concealed carry permit, there are 36 other states that allow you to carry in them. Guns to Carry created a map with more information on the reciprocity between states that you can find beneficial. We'll link that down below for you. What if I'm a law enforcement officer? Do I need a concealed carry permit? If you are active duty or retired military, the Law Enforcement Officer Safety Act, or LEOSA, may apply to you. LEOSA is a federal law that allows qualified current or retired law enforcement to concealed carry a firearm in the U.S. with certain exceptions. In this case, you may not need to apply for a concealed carry permit. If you enjoy our videos, feel free to like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell so you don't miss any of our future uploads. If you're looking for more information on any of the topics we cover on this channel, a link to our website will be in the description and a pinned comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.